ghosting. It's a uh, popular thing in dating these days. Oh. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever been ghosted before, but I think I have been ghosted. Mm. And it hurts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you ain't been ghosted in years, nigga. And it hurts. You ever ghosted someone? And I have. You ain't shit. And uh, you know what I'm saying? But when, you, when you're on the other side of the ghosting, how does that feel? You never been ghosted, huh? Who me? Yeah, I have. I definitely have. How'd you feel? I mean, it sucked. Yeah, it did. It did, yeah, right? You know. I but did you just... have you ghosted somebody too, huh? Uh, I'm really thinking. I don't know. I don't yeah. think I have. I'm well, that's like... the reason for ghosting. I think most people ghost just because, well. They some pussies and they don't want to tell you how much they don't like your ass. So that, they're gonna be that's like, I'm probably just it not too. Going to define the define the ghost though. Like, I, yeah, I think that I think that's it too. Because like, some just, people, go ahead. now some people, I feel like to me, ghosting is why we we we're moving in a way where one of us thinks things are going well and the other person don't, and they just like I ain't got time to deal with this no more. I uh, I ghosted a homeboy before. Okay, that's ghosting. Well, he ain't really my homeboy. This nigga named Corey. He always is <laughs> trying to match a black. Nigga, who match blacks? Nigga, get the fuck out of here. All right, for context. Nigga, he sound like my type of dude. I can't. Introduce oh, me to Corey. Hell no, how broke is he? And, uh, I don't know. That nigga didn't smoke weed. He was scared, so he always tried to match a black and shit. That's nigga. a lot. Sure, no. I got a jazz, Corey. Can yeah. we match with the wine? <laughs> I can, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Nigga trying to match a wood tip. For nigga, context, get the fuck out of here. Ghosting, Zah, nigga. ghosting means... The practice of ending a personal relationship with someone by suddenly and without explanation, um, withdrawing from all communication. Ghost that nigga. <laughs> Give it to me one more time because this nigga got me laughing. Because he a fucking idiot. Zah, <laughs> 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 nigga. Zah, bro, what you mean? Nigga all trying right. to get niggas cancer and shit, nigga. We <laughs> trying to have a good time. Get lit. <laughs> shit crazy out here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Cord, nigga. <laughs> That's a real nigga. After all, this shit. I bet he is a real nigga. Oh, he ain't got no choice. You out here matching blacks. You got no choice but to be real. You can't be fucking oh, soft matching blacks. Got oh, mesothelioma, nigga. <laughs> Jesus, nigga. That nigga got that face on love. <laughs> that nigga be matching them blacks. Uh, all right, here we go. All right, the, the definition. <laughs> definition of ghosting again. Is the practice of ending a personal relationship with someone by suddenly and without explanation withdrawing from all communication? Yeah, does, that sounds about does right. Does time does time count? <laughs> no. All right. That sounds about right. So I've been I've been ghosted and I've ghosted. Yeah. If time if time doesn't count, then because I feel like you don't really owe anybody an explanation that you don't really know. Then I feel, I feel that. like sometimes you kind of already know. Like you stop talking to somebody because like you you see where it's going like y'all we don't have to talk and if you know so yeah. true that I think that is it too and I think sometimes if you tell somebody you just and they don't get the hint then you got no choice but to ghost them <coughs> mm-hmm. uh, but then there are times where I think the most of the time is somebody thinks that things are going well and the other person just ain't got the heart to break it to them that. I ain't really feeling this shit. Man, fuck that. I, y'all heard my reason for ghosting somebody. I want to hear y'all reason for ghosting somebody. I think the the one time that I can really remember. Hold on, what was your reason? Because he tried to match a black. Yeah. To black. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Can't this do is, that shit. Honestly, it's the first time I ever heard I somebody want to match off. a black. So. Oh, God. That just Thank don't, you. That just don't seem entertaining. Hey, <laughs> what are we going to talk about? Right. It's like trying to match a black. It's like basically you just want to go outside and smoke and have a conversation. Stink Cause we're not here. about to be high out here. We're just about to be out here smelling like cigar smoke. Head gonna hurt, probably. Yeah, man. Who'd you go somebody for though? Oh, uh, it was a girl who um, I actually ghosted her twice. Damn. Right. She didn't get the hint. Yeah, and then we like ended up connect reconnecting, and uh, again it fell into the same trap where it's like I'm not really feeling this, but I she think- seems to be feeling it a little bit more than me. And I think we were supposed to go out. Uh, we were supposed to go out on that Friday. And uh, crazy shit, my phone was fucked up. So was I was your like, phone really fucked up? It really was at okay. this point. On Thursday, it was fucked up. And I was like, maybe this could be my excuse to get out of this shit. So uh, my plan was to hit her up on the next like Sunday or something and say that my phone was fucked up. My bad. Because my phone ended up getting fixed. Uh, but I just blocked her ass and... Never heard from her again. She never heard from me again. I feel bad, but why was she ugly or something? 
I just uh, I just was not interested in what she was interested in. Uh-huh. Like she was, you know, I think she was ready to take a couple steps forward, and I really wasn't trying to get into that. And um, I didn't have a heart to break it to her, I guess. Oh, okay. Most of my goals used to come after either a conversation or just, you know what I'm saying? Like, the shit just fizzle out. Like, whatever the situation is, just fizzle out. One day you wake up and y'all niggas ain't talking no more. Like, you ain't heard from that nigga. Like, I mean, it ain't one of them ghosts where it's like the door is closed. But, I mean, y'all situation just fizzle out because... Usually when the door is closed, I don't even follow you on IG, but, like, sometimes the situations just fizzle out. Like, I know you still there. You know where I'm at. You know, I'll talk to you if I talk to you. If I don't, I don't. I love the fizzle. The fizzle out is great because you ain't really got to say nothing. It's kind of, like, understood on both ends when stuff fizzles out because it's like, all right, we used to talk every night. Then we go to talking three days a week. Then we go to talking once a week. And then next thing you know, I ain't heard from you in months. I like a good fizzle. But the cutoff is hard. Nah. What's usually the reason? So you don't like the, the fizzle? Is the fizzle not a ghost? The fi- <clears throat> I don't really count the fizzle as a ghost because like, and you can't be ghosted if you hit somebody for clarification. Like, right? I, I, yeah, I don't think I've that's been ghosting. done that way. Like, somebody literally hit me like, "Yo, been a couple of days. Like, what's up? Like, we we talking? What we doing? They were they that's asked not, for clear clarification. That's not ghosting. Were you a, were you trying to ghost them? Huh? Were you trying to ghost them? In oh, there? yeah. I was trying to hit the fizzle. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was trying to hit so the no, they weren't. I, to me, like a fizzle doesn't really count. It's just like something fizzles out. Like it just. But I feel like yeah. that's what most ghosts are. Like they just, you let See, it go. Like if you uh, don't hit me, I, I don't a, hit you. I no, feel like a ghost is it, no it, communication. Suddenly. Yeah. yeah. I think the ghost is. Off. Like we got plans and all of a sudden. Every, Meaning like yeah. I'll talk to you today and then you don't hear from me. After today Oh and then I take that back I have never ghosted anybody Oh okay Damn, You a good I've, man I've never ghosted anybody I, I have just like Let things fizzle Or I may have just You know what I'm saying Might hit you Might not hit you up no more After a conversation But I feel like that shit Goes two two ways Like if me and James Get in an argument And after that argument I don't hit him He don't hit me That's not a ghost Nigga like It was what it was We had a conversation I obviously feel away He obviously feel away And then next thing you know Life take over And y'all niggas Don't talk no more But I think it's Uh, I I mean yeah True Um, So I mean I've personally Never ghosted anybody I've been ghosted twice But I've never ghosted anybody By that definition I've never ghosted anybody I've been ghosted Quite a few times And I've ghosted A couple times But like It's always warranted But you're right It's after a conversation Or just um, Somebody's mindset Like if it you just dumb as fuck to me. I yeah. can't. I can't give you clarification that I'm no longer interested in you. It's like, no, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I don't owe you that. D, what'd you get ghosted for? Probably being too smart. I don't know. I didn't. I don't wrestle with you. I just Come accept. On. Like, if I'm ghosted, I'm ghosted. And I will say, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, you know, I'm, I'm so hardcore it doesn't hurt. Like, no, it hurts my feelings. They make you think a little bit. Yeah. After yeah. the first two times, <clears throat> but after a while, it's like mm, I'm used to it because that's the. That's just the the tone of dating right Especially now. These with, days, yeah. with a lot of different people, like they don't know how to approach hard conversations. They're not willing to, so it's just easier to act like this never existed or we never knew each other. And I mean, it's really. Or it's, or I'll, I'll, I'll piggyback and say sometimes maybe that person has had hard conversations, and like I said, at this point, there's no more point. There's no point in having right. another one. The like, other person not really getting go, it. Yeah, let's just go our separate ways. Yes. Well, we don't need. We don't have to conversate about that. They if, gonna feel like they got say, ghosted, but you won't feel like you ghosted. The conversations them. don't happen, like those hard conversations that you may have or that she may be able to pick up hints from. They don't happen at all. Mm-hmm. It's like, hey, yeah, the ghost in the ghost, right? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, yeah. hey, I'm gonna call you right back. And, and then, that like, was last time we talked. Yeah, that's last yeah, time I talked. Yeah. But sometimes you know, yeah, you, you know, and you just accept it. Like, <laughs> it ain't got nothing to do with you. It's like, if you're time, ghosted, don't take it personal. The first time I got ghosted, and uh, I was actually hurt. Uh, was the girl she ended up getting back with her ex boyfriend, and I ended up finding out about it like a couple months later. But it's like, damn, I thought we was moving smooth. We hung out on uh, New Year's, and then I didn't hear from her no more. It turned out she had got back with her ex boyfriend. They was getting married. <laughs> I had somebody do that. They, <laughs> I had that happen to me. They ghosted me because they lost a parent, and mm-hmm. their ex was there for them. So I found out that yeah. at the baby shower picture. Gotcha. That's trifling on both of their parts. She's a trifling bitch. That nigga's a trifling nigga. Like, 
stop dating people when you got to open to a whole nother person. Like, mm-hmm. close the fucking chapter, then go date. Facts. Yeah, Man. I think we all do to do that more often. Close the chapter before we get into stuff. Uh, I mean, I think men do it more than women do. I think we jump into something right oh, after a relationship. Yeah. No, Speaking men, of. you don't think so? You think women do it more? I think women got. You. I think they both have chapters open. I think you feel like men do it more because men be having like situations. But I feel like like that woman, you know, it's a woman that you can actually be with. Just yeah. like the girl, know it's a dude out there she actually can be with. She's just waiting for the opportunity. I'm I'm only talking about those situations. I feel like every other situation should be able to be closed. Like all right. Yeah, we just going to shoot pool on Tuesdays, nigga. That shit's a wrap. I got <laughs> be <laughs> intentional. Be intentional. Be genuine. Be mm. clear about what it is that you're looking for. That's hard out here. I actually had that happen to me once. I had I was talking to this girl, and this was right when I was getting my confidence up. Like you know, what I'm saying like trying to holler at chicks and shit. This was way way before I got in a relationship. And uh, this chick, man, I had seen her. Sh- Nice body on her and shit. I was like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Went in there, put my back down. I was proud of myself. Uh, excuse me, we honey talk, dip. We talked for like maybe two days. And then like I ain't talked to her for a month. And then like I seen her, she was getting married. Yeah. I was like, what the fuck? To, so, to an African dude. I was like, man, uh, African I can't. Niggas get you. Yeah, I said, I, mean, I can't. Was that a shock yeah. to your confidence? Because he was African? And this nigga got muscle on top of muscle. Oh, yeah. Small African nigga told me that don't matter. Take yeah, woman. I say, man, damn, man. He just told me that don't matter, though. Who? You, who? <laughs> you just told me that don't matter. The muscles. I, nah, I lost that one. <laughs> I say nah. This nigga got an eight pack. I can't. I can't fuck with that. That's why you brag. <laughs> the eight pack. I feel it. That's why you brag about your bench press. <laughs> okay. So anyway. you don't lose your bitch. Jay, I do twelve push ups with James Taylor.